good morning. Here's today's outfit. Today is all new stuff from Ann Taylor Loft with the exception of the accessories. So this top is something that I showed you guys last week on last week's vlog. This is from um, Ann Taylor Loft. These pants, I decided to keep them and just, you know, these are my thighs. Love them or leave them. I can't leave them, so I'm just going to love them. So I'm gonna keep the pants. That's what was making me a little unsure about them. Um, then I'm wearing these flats from DSW that you guys have seen before. And then I decided to put on this necklace from, I think this was like an online auction or something years ago. I can't even remember the name of the website. And then this gold Michael Kors watch and my brown frames. And that is it. So I will talk to you guys later on. It is after school, right after school, it's 2.51. I am cutting up this, well not the last snowflake, but almost my last snowflake. And I'm just gonna check in really quick because I actually have a meeting that I need to go to at, I think at three, an SST meeting. Um, but today has been interesting. Our internet is non-existent right now. And we were just informed that we will not have the internet tomorrow for a certain period of time. I'm not sure how long that's gonna be, but that's what we were told. So tomorrow should be interesting. But um, these are what the snowflakes look like so far. So they look like this from the front and then from the back. I will probably have this side pointing to the outside. I don't know yet, but um, once they finish mod fudging it, you have to cut it out, and so that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm just checking in with you guys. So I'm not 100% sure how long this meeting is gonna take, and then what is gonna happen, happen after that. I will probably go home pretty early since I have no internet access here. But all in all, um, the day went well. We got everything that we needed to get done, done. The only thing we didn't get done is the vocabulary presentations. As far as the holidays around the world, we went over Kwanzaa. Um, and I really like the fact sheet. It was straightforward to the point. It was just enough information. And the Kagan structure that I chose to use is called Mix Freeze Group. And so um, I, you play music, is what I do. They mix around while the music is playing. You stop the music. When the music stops is when they freeze. And then you pose a question 
whose answer is number based. So since we're studying multiplication facts, all my questions were multiplication um, questions. So for example, when they froze, I would say something like, what is two times one? They show me with their fingers that the answer to that is two, and then they know they're making groups of two. So they form a group of two as quick as possible. They get down on the floor, and it's silent this whole time. They get down on the floor, and then what I did is I posed one of the fact questions from the back of this. So I gave them the question, they had the paper with them, and they sat down on the floor, um, spoke in quiet voices, came to a consensus as to what the answer is, and when they come to a consensus, they write it down, then they stand up, and then when all the groups are standing, that's how I know everyone's ready to share what they believe the answer is, and then I would just randomly call on a student, and if they got it right, then their table group that they normally sit, out, sit at throughout the day got a table point. So that whole process took us about 45 minutes to go through the fact sheet, um, do mix mixed freeze group and then we still had time for them to start the page on Kwanda that's going to eventually go into their lap book and I'm just having them save all the pieces together so I'm satisfied with the day overall it would have been better had the internet been working because there is a brain pop video on winter holidays that I wanted to share but I couldn't because the internet was down but I can do that tomorrow so it's not too big of a deal but on a scale of one to ten so far as far as my day um, I would give it an eight, um, so I can't complain. So I'm gonna finish cutting out a couple more of these snowflakes and then I'm gonna head to my meeting and I may check in with you later. Well, I will check in because I have to close out the vlog for the day. Um, so then I guess I'll talk to you then. All right guys, um, it is just about five o'clock and I actually wasn't gonna check in and then I realized I don't have a thumbnail picture for this vlog and then I thought, let me take a picture of the book that I read today and then I thought I should share that book. So here I am, um, I'm getting ready to go home. I won't vlog from home because I have to go home, walk the dogs, because I have two dogs in my household right now, mine and my mom's dog, Riley. I need to cook a Blue Apron meal and I need to pay some bills. So I have a lot to do. And I also think I wanna stop by Target and I'll show you why in a second. So today I read this book, uh, Santa's Kwanzaa. And um, it's a cute book. It is told in like a rhyming format and it gives a little bit of information about Kwanzaa, not a ton, but the kids really responded very well to it. They chuckled, it, they liked it, it was cute. Um, and so this is what I read since we were going to be studying Kwanzaa for holidays around the world today. So this is the book that I read. And then I wanna go to Target after, after school it's after school I want to go to Target right now because I think I am gonna buy some lights for the window I knuckled down and after my SST meeting which I'll mention in just a second I decided let me go ahead and put these snowflakes up because I got them all cut out today because if I don't do it today chances are I might not do it at all so here is what they look like I still have about four or five students that need to complete them those of you that love symmetry or perfect balance I know they're not perfectly balanced and I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted them to just look like they were haphazardly up there in a way um, so there's a part of me that's having to let that go that they're not like mirror images mirror images of each other on both sides but I kind of like it so um, my thought is to put lights in that window since I have an outlet that I could use over there and again if I'm feeling really rich lights to go around the whiteboard but that feels like that's going to be a lot so i want to go to target for that and then the other thing i want to mention about sst meetings is it's a good idea if you have an rsp student and or a student that's in the sst process to just try and save and make copies of tests quizzes and work samples even if you're not asked to so today um, i had i knew i'd been saving these things but i asked our school psychologist who kind of leads these meetings what exactly did he want me to bring and he just wanted me to have like averages of tests and quizzes the student was taking with modifications and then um averages when I was not modifying it and just specifically a math because that's our main concern for this student so I had it and when you when you come in with information and documentation and samples it just makes you feel more prepared to like answer questions you just come across as more professional which is always important so I feel like the meeting went well we talked about some steps going forward that we're gonna try and then we're gonna meet up again in February so 
that's my little tip on that. Um, but I do need to go home because I need to update my website for homework since we still have no internet access. And um, yeah, so overall a good day. Got mostly everything done. Just didn't get the vocabulary presentations done. And um, that is it. Wonders, all we did today was Oh, we took the listening test. Let me let me pause um, because I am trying to share like this particular routine that I go through. So the second day of a new theme is typically when I have the kids work on the vocabulary posters. And these are just the vocabulary words that go with the, I b believe it's called the close reading passage. I just always call it the shorter passage. So you get these vocabulary cards. There's usually about eight that has the word. So this word is interfere. On the back, the kids find the definition, an example, um, a question that you could ask, but I just give these to the groups and have them use it to get the definition and examples. And I just number my class off into eights and then the groups work together. They create these posters that are not perfect, but again, my goal this year is to make sure what's up in the room is mostly reflective of authentic student work. So they make these posters where um, they put the word in the middle and then they put the definition. Let me turn the camera around. Maybe this vision or this viewpoint will be better. Um, they put the word in the middle, a definition, a picture, an example, and then synonyms. So this was involved. That was one of our words. Furiously. Attempt. Interfere. Created. and cooperation so they make the posters i have now gotten to the point where i limit them to 25 minutes and i inform them that they will in fact be done in 25 minutes and they're able to do that with no problem once they buckle down and like get productive and then they come up front they present their poster to the class using the classroom microphone which makes them feel extra official and then i give them a speaking grade for that as well as a listening grade since they have to listen to each other now, I don't know if I shared that with you before, but if I haven't, um, that's what I do on the second day. And if I have, that's just a reminder of what I do on the second day. So now I really am going to leave. <sighs> oh, my mom's letting me know she's at my house. Um, now I really am going to leave and head to Target and do all that. Maybe I won't give the dogs a walk since they haven't been cooped up. I love my new cell phone case. Do you guys like it? I also bought a pop socket. It just makes me smile. So anyway, let me go ahead and take this thumbnail and get to doing what I need to do. I hope that you guys have had a great day, whatever it is, and I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas. Fingers crossed that I can keep it up because as fun as it is, it is a lot of work. So I'm gonna stay optimistic, but had a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow, Wednesday. Bye.